this is part 10 of the video tutorial series, uh, Creating the War Sloth. Uh, now here I've added a couple more pieces of armor and a couple more straps onto the model. Now I've made just one gauntlet for the left arm and I want to make one for the right arm as well. And doing that can be quite a challenge if you wanted to make them separate or getting them to a pen correctly could be quite a challenge. But what ZBrush actually has for us is a plugin called the Subtool Master. Uh, and Subtool Master allows me to very easily duplicate this across a mirrored axis. I go to Z Plugin and I choose Subtool Master if this is loaded. There's several options that are available here. The one that I'm actually looking for is going to be the mirror option, but we also have options such as duplicate or merge. Under mirror, I have options to create a new subtool or to merge the mirror with the already existing subtool. I'll mirror across the X axis and what do you know? I've got two gauntlets now. So I'll just rename this subtool to make sure we note the fact that I've got two of them and hit OK. And I've only got the gauntlets right now. I want to make sure I also mirror the straps across. So I'll switch to that subtool. Uh, again, I'll go back up to the Z plugin, Subtool Master, choose Mirror, merge with the existing subtool, hit OK, and it mirrors across the X axis. And now I've got straps, which I'll also rename. Uh, that was a very brief uh, video to 10 of this tutorial series. Uh, stay tuned for part 11, which we'll take a look at rigging out the model with the transpose tool.